Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Material Energy Cubed with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Having yourself a great day, as always. And I am moving my little people. <laughs> yes, it's time to pen them up. Corral them into a small area where they can't escape or do any mischief. I'm going to do that with some fences, I think. Because I actually really want to use these lassoes, these lassoes, for uh, something. Now, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. Not a huge deal, but, you know, just some bits and bobs here and there. And the main thing that we've done is go around and find as many secrets and things as possible. Uh, I haven't really done any quests, but I've been working up to be able to hand in quests. I did find a reward bag, which is good, so we can open... Oh my god, I got a golden egg. <laughs> wow, I don't really want another little guy at the minute, but that's awesome, I guess. Let's put that in here, I think. Yeah. So let's put all these guys in here, and I'll show you the uh, bits and bobs that I found. Uh, let's put all of them in here. So you... And you. And I want these golden lassos because we can use them to move the animals around. Now, one of the tasks is to kill a load of animals, but I would rather try and breed them first, if possible, before that. Uh, let's just put you in there. I don't know if these guys are going to follow me. I really hope they're not going to follow me around. Otherwise, that's going to be annoying. Uh, we look okay. I think they're going to stay in there. That's all right. Okay, so we can leave those guys in there. Let's find a place for our animals as well. Let's just put some animals like around here. We'll just we'll have some animals in the base. Why not? There we go. So the animals can kind of go in there for the time being until I decide what I want to actually do with them. And let me go and show you what I've been up to. So we'll go from room to room, I guess. Um, I haven't really done anything in here. And here's where most of the changes are. So I've gone around and I've got most of these carpenters' safes from the walls. I've actually dug them out and I've placed them over here. So that way I know which ones I've gone into. Now there's a couple in here that I missed actually. There was actually one here and there was one on here somewhere? Yeah, here. That was the one. And they've been moved over there now as well. Another thing that was in here as well is underneath the liquefied coal down here, somewhere in there, was a compression dynamo, which I've now added to my, my production-y place, which is good. So that sat there doing its thing, and you can go add the liquefied coal and water to that and that. It will actually produce a fairly decent amount of power. If we have a look, it's going to make 40 or, or max 80 RF, so it's not bad. It's kind of like a reaction dynamo, which is good. So that's what we've done there. And around here, I've done the same, gone around, I've looked into all these little areas, all these little nooks, nooks and crannies, to see what I can find. And I found some carpenter safes around here, and there was some around this side as well, hiding here and there. And I've gone and got all of those. Uh, another thing that we've done as well is someone told me that you can find, it's, uh, where is it, somewhere around here. Right here was one of these guys, which makes these grow faster. So I went and grabbed that and popped my ender lily on it, and now it's growing fairly fast, which is good. Because that means we can get more ender lilies, which, you know, ender pearls are always good, because the first ender pearl I got allowed me to make this. Whee! <laughs> I made another one of the elevators, and I popped it up here, because right in the middle around here is another safe as well. But there's also one hiding out over there. Yes. <laughs> We're going to go get that today, I think. That's going to be a thing. Uh, but let's start by getting... Actually, you know what? We're going to go do that. We're going to go get that one first, and then we'll carry on. So let's get a stack of cobble, and we'll go grab that one over there. Because who knows what's in there? I've actually got a fairly decent amount of the statues now, which is good. So I think we're kind of getting close to complete that one. There's bound to be some kind of hiding around in places that we've never, like, you know, we haven't been to yet. But we've got a fairly decent amount of them. So let's pop this down here. Here, I guess. Kind of just going to drop our way down. There we go. And let's see what's inside here. Now, a load of you guys were telling me that we can make our way down to the bottom level. Like, all the way down there. Uh, we're going to do that as well, I think. Ah, a zombie pig man. Then that's... You can come with me. Oh, I can't break that, can I? Because it's made of... <laughs> wow. The troll is real. All right, let's put some uh, cobble here so I can get back up. There we go. 
Awesome. Cool beans. Let's go place these trophies down that we've got, because we've got a fair few of them now. I've got... Which ones I got on me? I've got the, uh, the Iron Golem and the Zombie Pigman. And you can see that we've already got a fairly decent amount here, which is good. So, Zombie Pigman can go there. And Iron Golem goes there. Haha. -ha. So, how many are we missing? We're missing three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we have a look in here and go to Victory Monument and trophies, we got a fairly decent amount. So we got a few more to find. I'm sure there's some that I've missed, but we will uh, come back and do the searching at some point. Now, round here was another one. So right here is a carpenter safe with loads of good bits in it. But if we break this, we can actually go down to the lower level. So let's have a look. Now, we've got some crayon glasses, which is good. We've got a monster spawner for bats which is actually kind of funky. I, just, <laughs> I don't even have a clue where to put that. Uh, we'll hold on to it for the time being. I don't really know why I would want bats, to be honest. Like, bats don't drop anything. Batrachotoxin? Mine chemical? How do we get batrachotoxin? What's the uses of batrachotoxin? Um, I have... No idea. <laughs> but I guess we could use it for XP or something, or to have an eerie effect. Who knows? We'll place that in here for the time being. There we go. And we've got a magic crayon and a baked potato. Yeah. I love these things because you can pop these on and then draw crayons. So if we put like one here, like that. And then when I take these off, you can't see it, but it's still there. Aura. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> maybe it's where to be able to see it. Is that the one? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good stuff. I think it's not the crayons, is it? It's the uh, pens or pencils, I think, might be the other way around. But there we go. So we can draw the blocks, which is you know, kind of cool. We'll pop those in there. But yeah, if we break this, we can then go straight down there. See? Oh, isn't that cool? And if I get some water from a bouquet. Ah, let's grab you. There we go. And we'll pop all this back in there. Cool beans. Yeah, if we go get ourselves some water from in here, then we've got an easy way of getting down and getting back up, haven't we? And we can go see what good stuff's down there, because I'm sure there's going to be some funky loot waiting for us. So let's pop that there. And I'm actually going to munch on my baked potato, because it looks way too scrummy to, to leave. There we go, yummy. And let's see what we've got down here. Now, apparently, we're allowed to go down here, which is good. And we can get some good things. Oh, it looks like we've actually missed the area in which we should have gone down. I guess when that's where the uh, the teleportery pad thing is. The uh, Yeah, which takes us straight down here. So is there one already put there? It looks like there is. Yeah, elevator. I guess it's just out of range to be able to make it up to the one up there. All right. Well, let's have a look and see what we can find around here. Ooh. And there is a carpenter's safe. Oh, no. No, I thought that was... <laughs> it looked like that should have been one right there. All right. So, this room is pretty cool. We've got some wool. We have a safe right here with a ME1K storage, which has, again, stuff in it. We really need to be able to make... A, I was actually looking at how to make the quartz and things, and I thought to myself, oh, another cat trophy, nice. I thought to myself that maybe we'll eventually find a room that has the stuff to be able to load these up. So we'll just, we're going to hang on a little bit. Instead of rushing and making one, we'll leave it for a little while just to see if we eventually get the means to use those. We've got a crafting table, we got a trading post. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I'm going to take that because that's going to be mega useful for a trading post. When we get some villagers. And we've got some water and some plants. Uh, this is kind of cool, I guess. I guess we could use this for something. And, oh, my lord. <laughs> Two stacks. An adamantian sword. Yes, please. I'm going to trade that out for my axe. Yeah, let's do that. Because we don't really need that. We've got a sanguinite axe, haven't we? So that can go there. And shovel's probably the last thing you use. A ender core, which is pretty funky. Some more clockwork engines. An ender lily. And some quicksilver. 
Nice! And I'm actually going to take this with me as well. There we are. Alright, so let's go have a look see what we've got over this way. I'm going to leave the, the crafting table there. There might be some more places around here that I've missed. So let's just have a little looky-see. Is that something there? Nope, that's just regular marble. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was hiding something then. It looked like it should have been. And, oh, we've got another place over there as well. Nice. So, yeah, there's lots of cool stuff down here. There's, whoa, wait, where's that? <laughs> Look at that place. I don't know if I'm meant to make my way over to that. Maybe we are. Probably, it looks like we are. There's not going to be a way of teleporting there, is there? I guess we'll have to check that out at some point. Uh, we probably won't do that today, though. And let's just get our way up here. Oh, my lord, look at all these ender lilies. Nice. And a skellywag trophy. Lovely. All right, let's make our way over to this room so we've got over here as well. Could be some funky things. And then once we've done this, we're going to go get the animals from the inclusion chamber because we want to grab those guys. And I'll also show you a few things in the inclusion chamber as well because there's a bit, few bits and bobs around there that I found. And then we're going to go back to the biosphere, I believe. Ha-ha. All right, so what have we got in here? Oof. We have a, oh, an ME controller, a spatial IO port, energy cells, big button. Huh. Well, that's strange. ME cable. Oh, I can go through this, can't I? Is this a room that's actually being used? Oh, no, it's not. Huh. This place is huge. <laughs> It's massive. It's a lot bigger than the first place. All right. I wonder if we have to use this. I kind of guess we do. Like, the stuff's already there for it to be used. The spatial pylons are already there. I guess this is... I wonder if this is... We have to use this place. Or whether it's so we can load up two of the spatial, uh, spatial cells at the same time. Because these have no power in them. So they're going to need to get powered, obviously. Got the spatial IO port. Uh, we've got a big button, ME controller. I might just pop this down here for the time being. Because we don't actually need this at the minute, do we? So I guess I guess we could pop all of this here and set it up. Like we could have the spatial IO port up there. Uh, we just need to power these these guys. So we need to find a way of doing those. We need to find out what we actually want to, what we actually want to use this for as well, but that's something, I guess. Yeah. Nice. All right. So this is a uh, cool place to be chilling. And we've got another one of those uh, storage cells. So I guess we'll find a use for that eventually. Sweet. Cool beans. All right. Let's make our way back upstairs and go grab us some animos. I think that's going to be a good idea. And we'll find out what we're going to do with this place eventually because it's huge. Maybe we... I, I'm guessing we use that as a spare place to load up other areas so we could have two open at the same time unless there are larger areas to be visiting there might be we might have to get enough power to be able to open up another one of those so i will uh, i will have a looky see and eventually i guess we're gonna find out nice so that was well worth going down there we got some good stuff let's have some biscuits yummy cool all right so let's put this stuff away uh, we've got another render core, actually, so we can go pop this one upstairs. Oh, with this guy, let's pop it here. There we are. And you can go there. We'll hang on to these ones for the time being until I get some more cores. There's probably going to be some around somewhere. And we've got our quicksilver dust, so let's cook that up. And, oh, Matt, we've got so much stuff. <laughs> we've got our stacks of dollars. Which is good. There is actually a quest around here for getting exactly two stacks, which I was looking at. It's one of the left alone ones. I think it's DLC. Yeah, two stacks gives us the Mesa and the uh, reward bag. So I guess we will uh, grab that one. 
And that gives us a shovel kit and a pickaxe kit. Nice. But that also gives us the messer, which is good. So that's another one of those. Let's have a look in here. So these are 128s and 128s. So they're the same size. So we've got another one of these to go to, which is nice. We've still got the Miner's Delight to go and travel to as well, which is another thing. So there is many places that we have to visit at the minute. But I just want to go and empty all of this. Let's go put these trophies on here. There we go. So we've got a cat and we've got our scallywag. Nice. So, cat. Poof. And scallywag. Where are you? Bam. Nice. So we've almost got all of those. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, someone in the comments said that you can find up to three different types of wool in each one of the chambers. So I think I might be missing something in the uh, first chamber that we went to. We'll have to go have a look around and see if we can find anything down there. Let's pop all these in here. So these are our electrical gizmos. There we go. We can have a chest. Kind of sit around here somewhere, I guess. We should go there. And ender lilies can go in here. Our trading post can go around here somewhere. Nice. And our storage cell can go in here. So we've got three of these storage cells now with different things in them. So I'm getting pretty excited to be able to make ourselves one of those. Cool beans. All right. So let's go and get ourselves these guys. And uh, we'll do this. So inside here, I've been digging away, getting all of the cobblestone. Because I feel like I should. <laughs> I don't think I actually need to. And I'm starting to think that it's pointless because there's not actually anything in there. But I don't know that. So, yeah. I've also gone and I took out all of the crafting CPUs from here as well. Because I didn't know if there'd be like a chest behind it or something. Or maybe we'll use the crafting CPUs at some point. So... I grabbed all of those. But over here, we knew that we had the spider area. Now, I went and located the spider area, and I actually found another secret place as well while I was doing that, which is kind of cool. And I left the loot in there because I thought I'd show you guys what you get in there because it, most of the loot places, I just loot. But these ones actually seem fairly important. So I thought I'd show it to you. But it's around here somewhere. Got to find it first. <laughs> oh, here we go. So this is the second one that I found, which is just here. And you'll find around the place there's loads of levers. The levers don't actually do anything. They're just for show. But you generally find where the levers are, there's secrets. So I found a, two levers on top of here. And I thought, well, this kind of protrudes out a little bit. And then I realized that there was a spider in here. But there was no spiders inside this area. So I think, oh, there's got to be something in there. So I had a look, you see, and we found some things. Look, we've got a block of emerald, which is cool. So I can grab that. And we've got some energy cells of full and lovely. So they can probably go down with that other one that we found a minute ago. There we go. A block of emerald. Nice. Emerald cell. Um, I guess we can... Oh, cool beans. I guess I can turn that back into a block of emerald, then turn it into emeralds. And the other one was for the spiders, which was... <laughs> around here so we'll just hug the wall and we'll eventually find it but there is a spider spawner in there is this it no ah ha, ha here we go yeah so there's a spider spawner in here and a chest and the spider spawner evidently is going to give us the bits that the spiders have now because we have special mobs some of the spiders actually drop useful stuff there hasn't been many places to find sand although we've now got the bo the uh, biosphere for sand but hey, some of them can drop some pretty useful things, as well as experienced spider's eyes and all that. But here we go. So this one has appetite and all the stuff to be able to make a farming block. One of the big multi-block structures from a forestry, which is kind of cool. So we can use those. We do need some of the other parts to be able to do it. So for the farming blocks, we need things like the valves and the hatches and whatnot. So we need those and the gearboxes. So we need a lot of stuff like that. But at least that means we can make ourselves a big farming place now. Instead of just using what I've already been using. Because I've just been planting the stuff next to where the sugar cane is. We can at least make a full area now for all of that. Which I guess is going to sort out food. And we can probably use some of the stuff for mine chem. Which is something, isn't it? So that's uh, that's that. Oh, that reminds me. I want to go get the animals. <laughs> Actually, the animals here? Yeah, they're this way, aren't they? Uh, down here. No, wait. No, 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 no. I'm getting lost here. The animals are this way. So we're going to go grab Sea Biscuit. We're going to get the cow and those guys. And we're going to rescue them. Bring them to freedom. Because we got these guys down here. Now, like I said, I want to try and keep at least one of every animal. Or two, so that we can breed them. Because that's fairly important. So, we'll rescue the cows. 
There we go. So that's two cows. And then we want two pigs. So they can have babies. There we are. And we'll rescue Seabiscuit. <laughs> because we should. And the rest of them can get horribly slaughtered, I think. Because <laughs> we can use these guys for uh, for pure evil. I'm actually going to take this with me, I think. There we go. Does that make stuff spawn? It does. There we go. All right. So, I think we can turn that back into wheat. We can. Good. That will help us for doing that. So, one of the quests that we have in here is... Oh, that opened up a couple more quests, actually. I think I can hand that in again. <laughs> nice. Oh, and because I died when I was off camera, I uh, I must have completed this one as well. So I get some coins and some bits. Nice. We'll hand that in in a minute because I don't think I got the space for that. But one of the ones over here is to kill five cows and five pigs. Now we're fully stocked on cows and we're fully stocked on pigs. And the only other things that we can kill are the sheep. If there's any sheep around, we'll have to check. But at least we got those guys and that's sorted now, which is good. So we're going to go place these over inside the uh, inside our storage room until we find a better place to put them. Now, I don't actually want to leave them in here because I'm going to be swapping out the cells, aren't I? I'm going to be swapping out the spatial storage cells, which means if they're in here, then I can't get to them. It's just a pain in the bum to keep swapping out the spatial storage cells just to be able to get to the animals. And I don't even know if I'm gonna <clears throat> I don't even know if I'm gonna need the animals. So But it's best to hang on to them, isn't it? At least we can get food from them that way, which is one thing. Oh, here we go. We got one of these guys that's grown. Let's grab you. Nice. Cool beans. So these guys can go in here, I think. Yeah. So let's put in our cow. Pigs. And sea biscuit. <laughs> what a guy. And we'll put all this stuff in here. So our farming stuff can go in there. Our energy cells. Uh, appetite can go in here. Can go in there. Good stuff. We've got like a million more chests. We've got 14 chests now. That's insane. And food. Cool beans. Okie dokie. Excellent. And the other thing that I want to do is see if I can chisel this guy back into emeralds. Ha 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 ha. Yes. <laughs> Very good. And you can go in there. Cool. So we've got 12 emeralds in there as well. Nice. All right. So next up, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the biosphere to see if we can find any funky things there. But before we do that, there's one thing I want to do, which has been on my hit list for ages now, and I keep forgetting to do it. We're going to make... I'm going to take this diamond. Diamonds are in short supply, but uh, everything is good enough to be made into a jukebox. Because <laughs> I can't live without my jukebox. It's been bugging me. Now, around here somewhere, we had that mine cam stuff, didn't we? Let's have a look. And we managed to find the mine cam for... Uh, no. Polyvinyl. That's the one. Have we only got two polyvinyl? Oh, it looks like it. And with the polyvinyl, we can turn it into music discs. Now, we have already got a music disc down here. I've got cat. Or 13. But I don't actually really like that one. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to make another one. Now let's see what we can do with these ones. Because some of them need certain things. So the one that I want is... Uh, not chap. Ordinary. Style. Yes. <laughs> My favourite. Uh, which is that. Poof. Nice. And let's see what other ones there are, I guess. No, no. Uh, if I wanted the other one, if I had to choose between another one, it would probably be Strad. Yeah, so that's bottom left. <laughs> so good. <laughs> awesome. And this can go around here, I guess. 
prime position. So, bam. And we can get some music on. <laughs> oh, this playthrough's just suddenly become so much better. All right, so let's do this. So we want the biosphere. And we're going to put you back. Now, and the biosphere. <laughs> cool. I'm going to put this stuff in here, I think. Yeah. Nice. So we should still have the animals in here doing their thing. That pig is horribly close to uh, falling in. But we're going to go and we're going to get rid of him. Because we have two pigs now, so we don't need any more pigs. Although I would like to keep some chickens. But we only really need one chicken, don't we? So let's take one chicken. Come here. There we go. So we'll keep one chicken. And everything else can be horribly slaughtered, I think. So we can complete that quest. Come here. Oh man, he's go he is going to fall in that lava. I'm going to I'm gonna move him first before I do that. Because if he falls in, I don't think it gets classed as a kill. There we go. Alright. So there's that guy done. And over this way were some cows. I believe some cows. And they were hiding inside a little place down here. Where are you guys hiding? Oh! Hey, there we go. There's one cow. And is there any more? I can hear another cow. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> I thought I could hear him somewhere. There we go. Now, apparently underneath here is actually a desert temple. It's one of the quests that we need to do. So we need to dig this out. And see what's under there. Now let's see how far we've done with our quests. Because I think we probably need to kill like another two or three cows of things. So we've done all the cows. We need to kill one more pig. Wow. I'm going to have to mine chem me up some carrots I think before I can do that. And then we can hand that one in. So before we finish up for today. Let's do a quest. Shall we? Oh look up there. Ah. Things. Ha <laughs> ha Oh. Alright, well, let's quickly do a quest. So we've got clay. We need 100 clay. Wow, that's a lot of clay. And wireless boosters. 200 wireless boosters. Uh, oh, we can hand this one in now as well, as well can't we? So I'm going to take a block of diamond look. No, I'm going to take the coins. Gives me an extra life, although I'm not on hardcore questing mode. And a feather. Nice. Totally used to this. And some coins. Cool beans. So let's see what else we can do. We have killing animals, Egyptian temple, biosphere, and black steel, and climate control center. Now I was thinking for this one, because apparently for this one, it says in the middle of the biosphere there's a control for the weather. There I can find valuable equipment. Uh, and to be able to finish it, we need to hand in four buckets worth of gelid cryophim and lava. Now lava is probably not that bad because we've got one bucket's worth up there and I've already got two buckets worth of gelid cryophium from down inside the storage room where it's kind of leaking out of that place. So we can get it from there. But somewhere underneath here is a uh, place that we need to find. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to have a dig. I'm going to do it off camera because it could take some time and we'll be back if I find anything interesting. All right, I think we have struck gold, guys and girls. Look at this. We found the desert temple. I also found a chest while digging, which has a good reward bag in it. Let's have a look. I got some... Uh, oh, I got a lead, minecart, minecart, TNT, poison potato, and golden carrot. Nice. I shall take that, thank you very much. And we're ready. But here, look, we found the entrance to the desert temple. Now, I haven't been down there. I don't know whether it's very uh, evil. There's many bad guys below me, so I'm a little bit scared of going down there. But no one's actually come up so far, so let's have a look. Slowly. Sl oh. Oh, it's just, just a room. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder if any of these are hidden chests. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And, haha, our Egyptian staff. A phosgene coated unbreaking five. Nice. Is that a... That's a hoe, isn't it? 
<laughs> and we've got ourselves a quick silver chest plate. Nice. Bam. Cool beans. All right, we'll grab that as well. There we go. And we've got ooh, some blocks of gold. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, is this a hoe? It looks like it. Yes. <laughs> so the Egyptian staff is an Egyptian hoe. Very nice. Not so staffy now. It's at least got breaking five on it though, so we don't have to worry about a hoe ever again. That guy can go straight down the pan. Nice. Cool beans, guys. Well, that's going to be out for today's episode. I can go and turn these back into their uh, original form so they can be used. And we've got some more coins. We can hand in the quest now because I just completed that one for the Egyptian temple. It gives me another 20 coins, reward bag, and an escalator. Very nice. And let's have a look at it. Oh, an epic bag. Bam. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff from forestry. Insane. I only just had enough stuff in my in my inventory for that as well. Nice. I wonder if that opens up anything else. Um, let's have a look. Side quests? No. <laughs> Lot, no. Pay to win, possibly. Mm, no. Although, we're getting kind of close to our bag here. And I am looking forward to getting the lava suit. Although, I need 16 stacks to get a full lava suit. That is kind of cool, isn't it? But there we go, guys. So that's that for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for some more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always. And goodbye.